Hello and welcome to Alice Springs, home to over 25,000 residents, extreme but mostly predictable weather and lots of flies. What could possibly drive so many people to such a place? Alice Springs is home to some incredible cultural history, not only our own cultural history but as well as world history. Alice Springs is home to many of those who work at the neighbouring site of Pine Gap, only the second most secret military base owned by the United States of America. Famous explorer John McDowell Stewart also ventured through here in his attempt to find a suitable route to connect South Australia and the North Coast via Telegraph Line, the route we now call Stewart Highway in his honour. John McDowell Stewart was an inland explorer of Australia and had over six expeditions travelling from the north to the south of the country over his lifetime and is the namesake of the Stewart Highway, a 2,800 kilometre highway from Adelaide to Darwin. John Stewart was a prominent member of the Freemasons, a religious organisation that is exclusive and has in history shown elitist mannerisms and examples of boys clubs behaviours. In 2009, to pay tribute to the 150th anniversary of John Stewart reaching Alice Springs, the Stuart McDowell Freemasons Lodge in Alice Springs commissioned a 4 metre high statue of the explorer. The gift, however, was not perceived in the intended light. The gift was given to the Alice Springs Town Council in 2010 to be permanently installed in Alice Springs for all to see. The statue has been moved several times at a cost to the Alice Springs Town Council. Frequent weekly graffiti removal alone cost $2,000 each time, let alone the cost to move the statue multiple times over four years. The park is a common meeting point for local people from Alice Springs, including the Aranda people. Today we get to hear from people who helped commission the statue, people who oppose the statue, as well as the Freemason group who hold John Stewart in the highest regard. Well, what I've uh, written about him, of course, I didn't really know who he was until I read the papers. When he came, and our people helped him all the way, showing them water holes. And the promise that he was given is to come e explore Central Australia. By exploring, he met a lot of Aboriginal people. and. He was feared and they were feared too. And that's how a lot of people didn't know what white white person was and you know. And start pulling out their spears and things and they saw him as a good man, you know, and they went along with him and they were scared because there was animals, they didn't see a horse. They didn't know that the horse carried things for them, you know. He went to this other country to mount hay. And, and some of those people were there with him, probably were there the ones who got shot, you know? They had two misunderstandings through, I don't know which government or what leader government he came through to kill our people. And why, why are we having him, a statue, standing here with the gun, or standing in the gun in the middle of the town which the people of this country came in peace with him to show him water holes and places. I'm glad he's wearing a dress today and to representing us. But him standing here, I think it's better for other people. It's not nice for Aboriginal people. We see enough people running around with guns and I don't think this should be standing here. If he had, a, he had no guns, if he had a book in his hand, like him t reading about the stories of where he travelled. Yeah. That could be nice, not with the gun in his hand. It looked like a war zone, that he just came in from the war, from killing people. That's what I see it as my own, for Aboriginal people. We need to get that gun away and give him a book. I should give him one of my books, a copy of my book. 
<laughs> to put it up there so you can read about it. Yeah. You know, it's choppy, so that needs to be removed somewhere else. We remove it to a desert park for tourist attraction. How long have you been in Central Australia? Yes, well, come the end of um, um, August, um, which is another six months' time, it'll in fact be 40 years, so it'll be a great celebration. Uh, I arrived with my then wife, um, and it was the Henley on Todd weekend, so it was fantastic to be able to, to be blooded into Central Australia that way. I joined uh, in September of 1990, so that's uh, now making 26 years. The first club, as such, the first lodge uh, was formed, which is the Alice Springs Lodge, and it's given a number of 156, uh, 156 on the on the register of Grand Lodges, um, register for South Australia and the Northern Territory, and uh, they were formed actually in 1934, um, and that was formed because there were people coming up uh, with the railways and uh, other people like-minded being in Alice Springs, and they decided to uh, form a lodge which basically met whenever the train came in. I believe the legacy, um, in fact, is um, pretty simply, I think it's um, success through perseverance. Um, he was a man who did not succeed what he wanted to do the first time around, but uh, just kept at it and at it. Well, in terms of, of um, his attendance at Lodge, um, specifically, um, he wasn't there very often at all. Um, but uh, you can't do that when you're actually out exploring for so many of these years that he was. Well, the situation being is that the um, town of Alice Springs was formerly called the town of Stewart. Um, there was the Alice Springs as in the junction water hole at the old telegraph station. But um, uh, it, it lasted uh, for possibly, I think it was nearly 40, 40 odd years before then it got, there was confusion and so the town of, Alice, the town of Stewart uh, got renamed to be the town of Alice Springs. Stewart as such is a man, as I mentioned, who left his legacy of wanting to, to achieve a, a goal by not um, just trampling on things or on people. The um, uh, town of Stewart, uh, town of Alice Springs, uh, never had a uh, statue of John McDowell Stewart. At best, there was the um, Stewart Park uh, there, and um, there, a monument uh, was erected to him, of which it was not to say that when that monument was done uh, at, as a stone piece, that um, if there had been sufficient funds from the limited number of people in the town at the time, that they may have, may have well wanted to to have a statue of Stuart. We, in fact, uh, as McDowell Stuart Lodge, organised before we decided uh, as a group, and there was only 14 of us as members at that time, uh, to, in fact, canvass the townspeople very widely and, and find, in fact, it, would they like this gift uh, that we would give to the townspeople. It was just resoundingly yes, they wanted it, they believed in, 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 the, in the hardships that Stuart had persevered with and thought it was fitting that he should have a statue. He's there for, in the centre for, for everybody and uh, I think uh, that creativity shows that we are in the centre, the centre of Australia, and in fact we welcome people to come in and spend time with us and go. So that creativity, I think, uh, shows that his encompassment of all peoples. This piece of modern history continues to change every day. People have various opinions of it and relate to the heritage and history of John McDowell Stewart's travels in various ways. Some may commend them, some object them, and some think that he has contributed to losses of lives. However, he was a great inland explorer and he will forever be a prominent part of Central Australian history. While one of the biggest military surveillance bases in the world, the existence of Pine Gap facility is nothing secret, especially to the residents of Alice Springs, to which it remains its biggest source of income and a controversial topic. The Pine Gap Defence Base is a facility run by Australia and the United States in a joint defence operation. The base serves as a ground station for the incoming data collected by numerous satellites in orbit, responsible for the interception of global satellite communication. 
among much of the controversial work done here was the infamous operation that directly influenced the drone program of the United States in the Middle East. First established in 1966, it was operational by 1970, playing a key telemetric role in the Cold War. The military base has not only had a large economical impact on the town, but a cultural impact also, bringing many American families to the Australian outback. Uh, well, I've lived here, I moved here in 2004 for the second time I was born here and then I moved away. So I returned in 2004 and I lived here for eight years until 2012 and came back in 2014. I've lived in Denver, Dallas and Alabama, so a few places, but spent most of my time in Denver. If I had to call one place home in like the world, I'd say Easter Alice Springs is my home. So yeah, like my favorite place in the world. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was cool. Like I'm, I've got Native American, like a lot of Native American blood, so I find it like really interesting. And yeah, like the indigenous cultures really appeal to me. I like not having to scrape ice off my car windshield in the morning. But yeah, like it's a dry heat in Denver during the summer. It's hot. It's like the same, pretty much the same. A lot warmer in the winter. Do you feel accepted in Alice Springs? Do you feel like the Alice Springs community accepts um, yourself and other Americans who are part of Pine Gap? I feel like if you like embrace the culture instead of trying to like make everything Americanized and like just accept what it is, I guess that's that's when you get accepted. And I mean, a lot of Americans find that they don't like really do much here or whatever, but it's only because they don't embrace what's going on so july 4th is the main one and i guess like a lot of people from the base will meet up out there and have like barbecues and stuff but there's i mean you guys pretty much celebrate everything we celebrate there's not really a difference in the culture it's just there's a barrier obviously but it's it's not that much different like i don't order food from america i mean like food here is fine but i know a lot of americans who do do that mm -hmm. people from the base meet up and play football like on Saturday mornings so there's like a small group of people but not really it's not like huge obviously yeah I, I found it like when I first got here it's obviously different I was only like a young kid so I love I, I play footy and like I played cricket so yeah like I, I haven't found it hard to adjust at all as long as I got to play around and stuff it didn't matter Alice Springs is like a really cool place if you you know like get, go do stuff and like meet people the, the best people in the world live here so uh, yep, I definitely think the American people are welcomed um, by the majority of Alice Springs. Um, obviously, there's a few exceptions. All their families move to town, and obviously, when new people move to town, they all bring something, and their partners and their families can bring stuff to the town. I heard the other day that before Pine Gap, there was no like Halloween or anything, so obviously things like that were introduced. The Americans are very powerful people, so I think that, yeah, it probably will continue on for quite a while considering how long it's already been around. If they are decommissioned then we won't have that. Obviously we lose a lot of our residents and also I know a lot of people are against the stuff that they do um, even though it's quite private. They make up a lot of the population so um, if that many people left then I think it would have a huge impact on the town. I definitely think that um, it could possibly become a heritage site People would be quite interested to know what actually went on there if you could find it out if it became a heritage site. If the Pine Gap Defence Facility was to ever be decommissioned, it would be a huge loss of economic, political, social and infrastructure for Alice Springs and the rest of Central Australia. Pine Gap is a part of global heritage and has become of our town heritage as well.